Enjoy. We're going to talk a little bit this morning about the heart and a lot about your overall approach and health in life. Dr. Dave Aiken is back on the show. He has tonal spine. He's been our guest for a while now and we had kind of concocted this idea mm -hmm. of having you come back and talk not just about what you're able to do but kind of have some patient testimonials to go along with it. And then what happened but life hit quite literally with the hurricane, now That's plural. Again. You have friends in Asheville, yes, so do. as we talk, anybody who comes to see you, is it in the month of October? Yes, correct. You yeah. are going to then be giving back to the relief efforts there mm -hmm. in yeah. Asheville. That's right, so essentially half of all exams are going as a donation to Asheville, so we're working with a few different donation centers and people that we know that are on the ground there that we're gonna be donating to. It's pretty powerful testimony that we have heard from you and we're gonna get more now this morning. Last time you were here, you brought a patient who had uh, struggled with fibromyalgia. Right. Now, thanks to you, she is not. So circling back real quickly to the hurricane, this has been a traumatic event. Your body holds on yes. to those events and so it's a fitting that you're giving back. Yeah. So let's talk about kind of these testimonials that you've brought with you this morning. We'll kind of read as we go. This one though, you think really exemplifies so much of what you do because it's that fight or flight that you hear about in people. That's right. And really, I would encourage anyone to read through the Google reviews that we have because they're all stories that are all very different. And what Andriana experienced, I think a lot of people experience, you know, um, what she has that you can see in this first paragraph here, uh, and this is a little paraphrase, so if you wanna read the whole thing, go online. Uh, she really explains the symptoms that she has of an overactive nervous system, a nervous system that is experiencing fight or flight freeze, as she says right here. And then if you check the second paragraph, she talks about within just a few months, this completely transformed, and she goes through and talks about all the different symptoms in that last paragraph right there. I think it's interesting to kind of look at these words that are in bold because they're mm. things that an awful lot of us complain about. That's that right. That foggy brain. That's right. Feeling tired all the time. Mm -hmm. Being constantly on edge. That one's interesting to me because that's an exhausting emotion mm -hmm. to carry with you. But I know in our conversations, the hunched fetal position yes. has always been real strong for you because that's that posture you can imagine people who stand like this. Mm -hmm. It's telling you something. Yes. And, and we see it so much today, more and more. And the thing that's really interesting, and this is um, a tricky part of the nervous system, is one of the aspects of being in fight and flight is that we look at when we're experiencing stuff like this mm -hmm. and we say, not today, I don't have time for that, it's no big deal, I'm doing fine. Mm -hmm. And we just kind of sweep it aside until it gets so bad that it interrupts our life. So coming to you is not a quick fix, it's a journey. I mm -hmm. think when you were here with the, uh, patient we were talking about last time, it had been about 18 months that she had been with you, maybe even a little bit longer. She had but a she was feeling so much better. Yeah, that's right. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Five years of pain yeah. come to you, uh -huh. things are much better. Yep. And the thing here about John, the reason why I wanted to include this one is because how many people have chronic back pain that they're just struggling with? And just getting it taken care of completely transformed his life. And what most people do is they say it's normal, it happens, it's a part of getting old. And what ends up happening is things like chronic back pain could be related most of the time to hip inequality. Mm -hmm. And that ends up wearing down one hip before the other. How many people end up having to get a hip replacement? Right. Why one before the other? So not all of the people who come to you have mm -hmm. an underlying emotion necessarily That's attached right. to their pain. Sometimes exactly. it's really just pain. That's right. Okay. But I promise you, Talking to John, he experienced something emotional shift as well. Really? Yeah. All right, well, yeah. what's another one that we have then? Yeah. So the A thing about crash. Jim here, yeah, car crash, right? So this is something that we all experience. And I think when a lot of people hear me talk about what we do at Tonal Spine, um, it's like, okay, the emotion, the anxiety, the nervous system, got it. But what can it do about this when somebody experiences something like a huge impact in a car? And two weeks after the crash, you know, he had all of these symptoms. And within the first session, he had that relief. And so what he also talks about is through that process, he had deeper healing. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really amazing Jim's testimonial here because he experienced the healing in his system because what happens when we get into a car accident, 
See, our nervous system is like in a black box, right? Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't receive the same information that our conscious mind is experiencing. There's a dissonance between the two. So it's getting all of this information through our senses. And when that happens, essentially what, what's going on is the nervous system is doing its best to interpret all of these threatening events. And whatever it does in that moment, it says, whatever we just did, we survived. So let's just keep doing that. And so all this tension that locks down around all of the injuries and around the neck and everything stays there because the nervous system has learned this is essential for being in the world. So all the physical therapy, all of the different healing modalities we get, if we don't actually get the nervous system to recognize, hey, you can let go of that, mm -hmm. it actually stays. So when you're going through that, though, your body mm. is addressing those things basically that have gone unaddressed mm -hmm. on the emotional level. Mm -hmm. Do you experience at some point a little bit of, I'll use the word discomfort, but at times, is it, is it a struggle to get through it to the next phase, but you can do it? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's not just uh, an effortless thing on your part, on mm -hmm. the patient's part. They're going to feel something and work through it. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Especially in a situation like this or in an acute pain situation, you're going to feel that pain. But when you allow that connection and that safety to be a part of that feeling, to mm -hmm. know this is okay, my body is healing. Because that's the thing. The nervous system has to be addressed. Everything functions better with a well-connected spine and nervous system. And when we have that, and when we have safety and connection and awareness, our nervous system experiences something very, very different. And so even though, hey, this is pain and this, discom this is discomfort mm -hmm. that's going on here, mm -hmm. it's also healing. Okay, let's get the last one, yeah. and then I want to show people how they can get in touch with you. Okay. So I love this testimonial. The thing about Betsy is she was experiencing something that a lot of people have, pretty intense neck pain and stiffness. It wasn't going away. The normal things that she does, we're not fixing this. And a light bulb went off because after she was trying all these different modalities, she remembered years ago, decade ago, she experienced network spinal care. And it was the one thing that worked for her then. So she looked, she found me. And when she came in, it went away. I think you just answered the question I was going to yeah. ask, which was if it's a long distance in the past when you either had the trauma or the injury, uh -huh. does it matter? And no. it sounds like the answer is no. That's right. Okay, what does matter is that you get in to see him while he has this offer going on where half of what you all will pay when you come to see him, half of the office visit, is going to be sent right over to the hurricane relief efforts taking place in Asheville uh, because those people are going to have their own journey and you want to be a part of it That's for healing right. for them. Thank you get you. healed, they get healed. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thanks Here's for Here's where you me. can get in touch with them. 498 33 tonalspine.com is the website. Arms up. Arms down. At Regions, we believe everyone can be good with money. Take Regina. Creating a Regions green print plan is giving her a path today to be good with money.